coming to you straight from the Rio Grande and beyond and beyond broadcasting to the four corners of the globe so grab your seat your coffee or your sundowner okay everybody here we go on point as always this is gloves off gloves off have you ever wondered about what happens in a martial arts studio well, you start right away by setting goals, building determination, gaining focus, building skills, all while becoming more fit, gaining confidence, and learning self-defense. We Thorn Academy is a school where attitude meets aptitude. So give us a call at 956-401-4868. We're back at you in Gloves Off, and today I have two great guests, and we're continuing that uh, moving forward of in, informing the lesser informed that are out there that are looking to buy a house for the first time. What do you need? You know, we've already had the real estate agent here, we've had uh, the lender, now we're going to go with credit repair because a lot of people do not understand the importance of credit repair. And today I have uh, real estate agent, uh, Ms. Silvia Lucio, and a gentleman who repairs credit by the name of uh, Humberto Leal. Joel Leal. Joel Leal. Joel Leal. Yes. And um, Mr. Leal, excuse me for, for messing that up, mm -hmm. but Mr. Leal. Um, I like Humberto more. Humberto <laughs> more. <laughs> so okay, by the end of this, we're going to be called, that's my... <laughs> 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 but, yeah, what... Let's let's go with Miss Silvia to show us. T tell us what the importance is of of, uh, of uh, credit. Sí, bueno, como hemos estado hablando en anteriores episodios, estamos viendo para la compra de una casa. Ya vimos cuál es el proceso y por qué es importante tener un agente de bienes raíces que lo represente. Eh, ya platicamos con un lender que les explicó lo que van a necesitar y que existen programas que les pueden ayudar con lo que es el, el down payment y los gastos de cierre. Eh, otro de los principales problemas que se pueden presentar en la compra de una casa es que las personas aún no tienen el crédito, el credit score que se pide para poder calificar para comprar una casa. Pero tampoco debe ser un problema porque existen compañías y empresas que este, les pueden ayudar para la reparación del crédito, como es Joel Leal, que él se dedica a reparar créditos. Ok. So what Silvia said in, in a brief translation is that you, sometimes the credit score is very important to buy the house because of the lending and how you're going to come up with the money. And there's companies out there that would fix your credit score. And Mr. Leal is going to go ahead and, and uh, tell us more about it, Mr. Leal. Yes. Uh, the credit score needed to qualify for a home is 580, 580 points. Uh, which is, is good, is, is, uh, they have a chance to get approved, but uh, the higher the better, they can get a better deal if the score is o over 620. Now, uh, many families get discouraged when they go to the, the lender or the seller and the score is not there. So they, they just stop the process. And uh, really now in these days, it's not easy, but it's, there's more chance to get the scores where we need it. There's ways to do it. Uh, there, there are laws that we don't know about. Uh, certain, certain accounts can be removed, uh, or uh, there's ways to go around collections. You don't, we don't need sometimes to uh, delete collections. If we make this, the score grow up and go up in a, in, you know, over, over the collections, they still can get approved. It all depends how all the collections are, and uh, and uh, the the way to to go that way is to open credit cards. You know, many people say, oh, I, "I can open a credit card. Let me help you with that. I, I help you to get you the credit cards and manage the way I tell you to do it, and the score will be there." Uh, every every credit 
it's different. I mean, I, I can tell that sometimes I can fix credit in, in 60 days or maybe uh, six months, but every credit is fixable. Don't stop there. Don't get discouraged. Continue. Come to one of uh, colleagues, I mean, our credit repair companies, which is, I am one of them, and uh, uh, we can help you with that. At least we can guide you what to do. Sometimes they have a uh, low scores, but really it's just that they don't have any credit. It's just one bad account and that's it. So uh, don't stop there. Come to us, call us. We can get you that. We can get you home. Absolutely. You see, um, that's the important part. And you always have to plan, when, as we all know, we have to plan. If you have a business, you have to have a business plan. If you're going to start at the beginning of the year, you're going to have to better have a business plan for the whole year and the uh, ensuing years. And sometimes those business plans change. But uh, you have to have a plan of action of what you're going to do, where you're going to get that. So when you're looking at buying a home, especially a first-time home, don't just say, okay, today I'm going to start buying a home, I'm going to go buy it next week. It might happen if you have the money in hand. But what you need to do is plan ahead of time. Start fixing your credit from, from the beginning. I actually think this is actually the first process one should be going to, to find out what uh, to fix the credit. Should actually be the first process if you're thinking about uh, uh, buying a house or purchasing property. I think the f first thing you should do is actually go see your credit, see where your credit's at, and start fixing it there. And then start looking for the house at the same time as this one. Because most houses, most properties aren't going to be sold within one week to the other. Most of them are, are going to take okay. some time. You know, you know, it's mm -hmm. going to take months. And uh, and what's the usual time frame when somebody goes to look for looks for the house to buy the house? Uh, normally, um, when they just start looking a house, they can take uh, uh, since uh, one week to six months or more because uh, the market is so tight right now. Este, and you present an offer, and you not only you. Several realtors present an offer, and then the owner obviously chose the better. Este, and then it's a time market, and you be you have to be prepared to to take uh, to take the time enough time to uh, work to como le diré para comprar su casa porque es un proceso un poquito um, Tardado. Algunas veces nada más es una semana o dos en lo que ya escogen la casa y ya pueden este, uh, empezar el proceso de, del préstamo y otras veces hasta después de many, 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 varios meses ya ustedes pueden uh, contratar la casa y de allí empieza el proceso. De cuando aceptan la oferta a cuando se cierra, pasan 45 días. Por eso es muy importante que tomen tiempo para poder empezar a buscar su casa. Porque en lo que tardan en encontrar y que les acepten una oferta. Y luego en lo que tarda en hacerse el préstamo, pueden pasar varios meses. Entonces, no dejen para el último mes para, eh, de, de su contrato de renta para encontrar una casa, porque nada más el proceso, después de que aceptan la oferta, son 45 días. Okay? Understand that before you close a house, it takes 45 days to close a house. So there's certain elements in there. But I want to get more into, if, Mr. Leal, if, if uh, a person comes in and says, can you check my credit? Can you check? Uh, what is the process that they need? What do they need to bring? What do they need? Yeah, they need, they need to bring check stops, uh, uh, proof of income first to the lender. The lender will pull your credit and will let you know, you know where, you, where we're standing. Uh, once, once the, I mean, if we see that the credit needs work, uh, it depends how, what, is, what it needs to be done. So it, it will take, let's say, two or three months. And after, the, when they have, I'm now, an important thing that I forgot to tell you before is that uh, that uh, over 620 score, they might qualify for down payment assistance, which is uh, basically buying a house with very little money, like sure. maybe no money or little money. Now, uh, once the, once uh, the, the lender uh, pulled your credit, 
and you see where you're standing, I will tell you how long it's going to take more or less to, to have your credit ready. And then if, if I see that it's going to be ready in two, three months, you can start looking at houses uh, based on the qualification that the lender gives you. Absolutely. And uh, so, like I said, I think it's, it's, it should be the, the first step. If you're thinking about buying a house, mm -hmm. go check your credit. And if you need it, start getting it fixed immediately. Uh, because it will be, it will be, it will be something that's going to be troublesome when, let's say you buy a, you say you negotiate a good deal on a house and you can't get the sufficient, the lender won't give you sufficient, you know, money mm -hmm. because your credit's low. It's going to take that much time. Well, guess what? That house can be sold off and you might not have that chance yeah. again. So I think that's the first, in my opinion, I think it's the first thing that you should be doing if you're thinking about buying any any property and because it's the first thing that that you need to check up on, yeah. right? Yes, yes, sir. And, and uh, if you see a house that is available, don't call there. Call Sylvia. Sylvia will represent you and will get you the best deal possible. Another mm -hmm. alternative that many people do is if you have a lawyer in retention, that lawyer can call as well because yes. lawyers are, are can do real estate instead of taxes. True. So you can either way get somebody that's going to represent you. Yes. yes. Siempre uh, necesita un representante. Cuando usted esté comprando casa, no se vaya solo. Es importante que alguien lo represente. A alguien que vea por sus intereses. A alguien que lo vaya guiando por el proceso. Porque si se va directo con el listing agent, que obvio va a tener que hacer la operación que sea justa para todas las partes, pero no le va a dar, no le va a decir todos los derechos que usted tiene. Entonces, yo creo que lo más conveniente es que usted tenga a alguien que lo represente. Absolutamente. Algo muy importante, la, la gente piensa, bueno, si le llamo a alguien, me va a costar. No, no, uh, Silvia lo representaría al, al comprador eh, sin, ningún, sin ningún costo, no le va a costar absolutamente nada. Sí, porque está el listing agent ya negoció el, el pago de la comisión para los rentos. Entonces, mm -hmm. esa comisión viene por parte del que está vendiendo la casa, pero de todas maneras el, el agente que está representando al comprador recibe un porcentaje de esa comisión que está pagando el vendedor de la casa. Se dividen los, 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 se dividen eh, la comisión. La comisión se está dividida en, en, en puede ser hasta en tres personas. Sí, entonces el comprador básicamente no está pagando directamente las comisiones a, a su agente se está pagando a través de la compra y que el vendedor destina una cantidad para pagarle a los agentes de bienes raíces. Así es como uh, se le paga a los agentes, pero el comprador sí necesita representación en todo momento. Sí. Es lo más sano para una operación de bienes raíces. Exactamente. Uh, so, you understand that, you know, number one, it's important for you to get representation. Second step is for you to go check your credit, and if it's bad in any form, get it fixed. And Mr. Head, just a question: How many people do you get? How many people do you see? Uh, okay. uh, well, I started. I started working in this um, in, in this area in this uh, uh, profession in 2017, and I already helped more than 320 families buy, buy a house uh, by fixing the credit. They they, they thought they couldn't buy. Now they, they're on their, on their own house now, uh, and uh, if, if you go to Sylvia, Sylvia will, will uh, get you to a lender where you're going to be pre-qualified, and then that lender uh, or Sylvia will call me if, if you need help. And it, it takes, uh, I mean, consultation, I, I don't charge anything. I just uh, uh, guide the customer to start. Now if they decide to fix the credit with me, we, uh, we talk about my fees. But, but I mean, if just to talk to me, you won't, I won't charge. Absolutely. So, mm -hmm. folks, we'll, I want to put the name of and the information of both uh, Celia and Mr. Leal, and uh, for you all to go ahead and and if you all are interested, give them a call. And we're going to continue this path because it's an important path because many people graduate, they come back, they want to come back home, they want to start looking for a house, they got a new job, they they're moving up in, in life, and you know, maybe they're and become a, a, a rock star in, in whatever business that they're doing that they're just moving forward. And all of a sudden they, 
they go buy a house and then all of a sudden the lender says, hey, guess what? Your credit's bad. So number one, I, re, I reiterate it and I will say it again. In my opinion, the first thing you should do is go check your credit and start getting that done, even if you're not gonna go buy a house. Yeah. So, you know, it's gonna come up. So, yeah. for in case something does happen. <clears throat> sí, porque el reparar el crédito es bien importante, le ayuda para todo. Desde comprar casa, eh, comprar un carro, para poder agarrar un mejor deal. Porque si va con un mal crédito, sí le venden el carro, pero una tasa de interés exagerada. Entonces, sí es importante siempre tener su crédito en healthy, ¿verdad? Y pues uh, Joel en todo momento le puede ayudar con eso. Joel, no nos has dado tu número de teléfono. Sí, mi número de teléfono es 956-231-4808. ¿Les puedes decir en inglés? Uh, 956-231-4808. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Folks, we're, I'm gonna, we're gonna continue talking here, but uh, we're running out of time. I wanna leave you with this. You all stay healthy, be safe, and may God bless you all. And uh, we'll see next week, we're gonna bring in the next step, which is the inspector, right? The inspector, sí. Because a lot of people don't know that, you know, you might be buying a house and guess what? The foundation's cracked, the roof is gone. You look outside and it's, it seems all right, but then all of a sudden you, you buy something and it's a money pit. So understand what you're getting into and uh, we'll, pass it along with those those things so you can have it there and it's going to be up there on the channel if you like uh, the show share it like it comment on it ask questions and we'll continue moving forward yeah. muchas gracias thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. until <laughs> next time much peace